Hello, thanks very much for joining me. I want to show you something regarding featured images within WordPress and how the, the WordPress media uploader actually handles an image. When you upload an image using the media uh, library, you, go, you select an image, you upload it, and then that image is added to your WordPress uploads folder and the image is actually cropped multiple times. This is an automatic function built into WordPress. So uh, in this case, uh, let's just open up this image. This is what I added as a featured image initially, and then it was cropped multiple times. So the, the 100 by 100 pixel thumbnail is actually cropping out the image in a sort of horrible way. It, it's butchered it, if you will. So if we go to the blog feed this is how people are going to see that image and not only that when you post this link to say Facebook or some other social media site with open graph tags it will pull in the best image but and it will just go for the site but whichever sized image it thinks is best which is not necessarily good for you because if you've allowed WordPress to automatically crop your image it's not really presented in the best way is it so this is what I suggest you do go into Photoshop go control a select all copy and then open up your thumbnail paste and then resize the image and crop it manually so you get whichever visual information you want within this um, with within this 100 by 100 um, um, area so I'm going to resize it just enough and now the the post is about li um, local business directory listing so do I want the the uh, yellow pages there or do I want more of the laptop I think I want a bit of both. I think that's probably better. Mind, I could go for that, but no, no, I think I'll go for that. Yeah, that's better. When you've done it, when you've cropped it however you want to crop it, flatten the image and then save it. And the same goes for the other images. I've got a 150 by 150 here and again it's kind of cropped it in a less than desirable manner so once again I am going to manually resize the image and fit it into the 150 by 150 area like that because I, I don't know how social networks are going to be handling this. What if somebody goes to my uh, website and decides to share it with their social network? How is how is that social network going to handle the image? Let's do it on this one as well. Now do I want the listings or do I want more of the laptop? I think I probably want I think that is the visual information that I want to try and convey. Yeah. Just like that. So you can see what I'm getting at. You can see what I'm driving at, can't you? And it's worth going through your uploads folder and just tidying up some of these images. Some of these images are actually posted within the body of the WordPress article which means that they're less important because they're not going to be shown as featured images see these images here I mean you, you add an image full size and WordPress with just automatically crops it down this is standard functionality for most WordPress themes anyway let's refresh the blog feed we might have to actually go control F5 to refresh the cache oh no it's done it so there you go that's better already isn't it and I see loads of blogs online that just aren't doing this. And I mean, like, look at this image here. I mean, if I go view image, 
That's crap. I mean, that 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 is a post about Facebook, and what I really need to do is go into my 2004. Now, what that was posted in October 2014. October 2000, oh goodness me, there's a lot of images here. It'll take me a while to pick out that image. Um, oh, there it is. So let me just open up this one. Copy and uh, open up the 100 by 100 thumbnail again. And There you go. I mean, you can see already that that looks better than what was there previously. It's good to take control and uh, overrule WordPress's automatic cropping system because it's, WordPress isn't intelligent enough to know how you want your images cropped. So once again, let's let's go back. Let's refresh the feed. I'm using instant WordPress by the way, which is an offline sort of uh, like a sandbox. Um, oh, that was, that's actually the 150 by 150. I do beg your pardon, I made a mistake there. It's probably best to do this if you're developing a website offline and you're using instant WordPress it's probably best to do this sooner rather than later because once your site is live you don't want to have to start backpedaling and going into your FTP grabbing the images taking them onto your desktop uh, modifying them and then co and then copying them back over you don't want to have to do that so a stitch in time Let's go refresh. You might have to refresh the cache. Sometimes you have to clear your history, but I'm going to hold control and tap F5, which just empties the cache and then reloads everything. There it is. Pretty good, eh? Nice. That's a good tip. And if you are, develop you are developing a, a website offline, go to your uploads folder and just have a look and see what WordPress is actually doing to your uploads. Um, so that's it. If you found that useful, share it and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.